I'm gearing up, gearing up to go into the master bathroom and clean. And it's my second cup of coffee. It's chilly here today, y'all. It's very, very chilly. Like I've even got the heat on in the fireplace. I really could stand to put the heat on in the house, but I'm not going to because once I start cleaning, it'll um I'll warm up really fast. But I'm gonna go ahead and have my second cup of coffee. Um I want to just get on here and say hello, show y'all. Um, I want to show y'all the chicken that I did for my mom. Um, y'all spotted it. One of y'all did. I haven't read any more comments, but the comments I've read so far, one of y'all spotted it where I missed the spot and um, on the underneath of the chicken. And I did, but I have fixed it. Um, so I was going to show y'all that and kind of tell you how I fix it in case you run across that problem. So let me go in there and show y'all that real quick. There's actually a couple spots I had to fix on the chicken, but... I had missed, like, in here there was some white, but if you can see, all of that has been fixed now. But here's the problem with it. I had already sealed this, so I had to use acrylic paint. There was a spot here and here, and there was a spot right here that I had to fix. So, the good thing about this paint technique is it does not have to be perfect. And although the spots would not have been seen, I still didn't want it to be unfinished. So what I did was I took some acrylic paint and I mixed three different colors. I first, I went over with a beige, then I went over it with a brown, and then I went over it with a little bit of a gray. I didn't clean my brush in between. And then I took a sponge and just kind of sponged it all out. And you can see all that's been fixed. That's been fixed. And right there has been fixed. So, all I have to do now is I will just reseal those few spots and it'll be good to go. And that's how I fixed Mr. Rooster. So, if you don't catch it after you've sealed it, you can still fix it. You'll just have to use some paint because the wax will not go over this. But, anyway, I did fix that. I sealed it. If y'all can see, it really kind of blended it in a little bit better even, so... There you go. So I'll just let it sit out here and dry completely. It'll dry in about 15 minutes and we'll call it good. There's Buster. What are you doing? My crepe myrtle tree is doing amazing and so is my lemon tree. Once I pruned it all back, I mean, it just started showing out. Oh, Buster's doing his business. Look at, I have daylilies blooming. Easter lilies are growing great. So it is just a beautiful day. We still haven't done that. It is what it is. It'll get done. And I'm kind of glad we haven't done it yet because we're supposed to have a little like below freezing so I can at least move my tomatoes. And we still have our stuff up here. So it'll be good. And then after that little freeze comes through, we should be good always have that little Easter snap. Just never know when it's going to happen, but it catches us from time to time. But it is, it actually feels good out here, but it's cold in my house. Maybe I need to open some windows. Mm. I don't know. But the chicken's done. My mom is coming down tomorrow. Um, we're going to go thrifting. She wants to try to hit a couple yard sales. And she said, and get my chicken. <laughs> get your chicken so she's doing great so that her foot's doing great so all is well so now i'm procrastinating because i know what i need to do and i don't want to do it but um i'm fixing to get in the master bathroom and clean it so i can give it a nice refresh i'm so excited that'll be a separate video but um i'm so excited so let me show y'all the rugs i I picked up. So this is the shower curtain, all washed and clean and dry. And look at these rugs. These are, what brand are they? Threshold, Total Fresh Bath Runner. And I got two of them. They just are the perfect color. And I love how I have the different shades of green, which is gonna go great with my walls. So these were $22 a piece. This was $3.99, so because I saved on this, I was able to kind of splurge on this, so it really worked out. 
and I cannot wait. I've got salt and pepper in my little salt and pepper shakers, so they're set and ready to go, which is gonna be great because this weekend, we're gonna have the boys over. Um, it's their birthday, so it'll be perfect when we're all sitting around the table. We have salt and pepper shakers. Yes? Yes? What do you want? You want your treat? You think you deserve a treat? <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. You want to say hey to everybody while I'm getting your treat? You want to say hey to everybody? Tell everybody you took such good care of mommy. All right, sit. Sit. Go, bully. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to finish uploading the devotional on YouTube. Oh, this morning I went, it it went in a whole lot, like, it all come together, but I shared some things that I had, had no intentions of sharing um, about Cody and Delena and everything. It was so good. I really hope that if you watch that, that you enjoy that. And it blesses you so much. Oh my God, it's good. So let me finish getting that uploaded and then I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the the bathroom. Okay, y'all, this is a judgment-free zone. So I'm about to show you some real life what our master bath looks like now. And I will definitely show you a good after. But as you can see, these are the shower curtains. See, even when I'm signing closed. I usually have two because I, I saw the idea of having them open, but I'm really enjoying them closed. So I'm just, the one's going to be fine. But these, this is my current shower curtain and I love it. It looks like it's embroidered, but it's not. It's like made into the fabric. I love these shower curtains and they are most definitely perfect for fall. They go perfect in this bathroom. So I will be keeping them, but I think a refresh is in order. So this is what it looks like. Now these are the rugs that I just, I love the design and the color, but they are awful, 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 awful. I literally have to get on my hands and knees, brush it up, shake it out, wash them because the vacuum cleaner will not go over them at all. And they are, I've had them for about seven years. It's time for new ones. They, they come from the Dollar General. I think I paid $10 a piece for them. Didn't buy them at the same time. It just acts, I happen to find them at different times. But anyway, you can see they are not the best condition anymore. There's makeup stains on them, and they're just, it's just time. And also, I'm going to kind of like figure something else out with the vanity. I'm not real sure. Um, it may stay the same, but I'm just definitely going to declutter it a little bit. But the only changes I'm literally going to make in here is the rugs and the shower curtain. And I think you're gonna be surprised at the difference it makes. So let me stand back and put the toilet seat down. People get offended about the toilet seat being up. So this is the before. And now I'm fixing to start cleaning and gonna get after it and put everything out. I'm trying to decide I love this little thing. I use it all the time. This thing come from, I think it came from Tuesday mornings. I mean, it's a dented and everything. I've knocked this thing over so many times. But I use this to sit beside me and put my makeup on when I'm putting my makeup on. I use it to set my iPad up, like when I'm taking a bath and I'm soaking and I want to watch YouTube. I'll put my iPad on it. It is just such a handy little uh, bench, stand, whatever you want to call it. But I'm really thinking it needs to be painted. What do you think, Buster? Do you think I should paint it? I'm thinking I'm going to paint it. Um, I'm not real, real sure, but it needs a good clean too. But here's what we're working with. Um, just going to be doing some cleaning the baseboards, cleaning all this off, getting it neat, um, wiping down cabinets, mopping, and changing out. It's not going to be a whole lot of work, but you know, this is the big disaster. Mm, I'm scared to even show y'all. No judgment. Look, look at all that. That is just a mess. Look, I don't even have more room on here to, to blot. But anyway, that's got to get cleaned out. Um, 
I gotta clean out the bottom drawer. It's got my hair stuff in it and there's hair in it and all that. So just gonna be doing some cleaning, taking my time, not rushing myself, but yeah, this is what we're gonna be working on. Not necessarily going to be a, doing a full like um, clean with me, but I do like to put these in our toilet. Um, I will be using this to wipe down cabinets and stuff. I'm going to be using these to wipe down my baseboards and I have my dome power wash that I keep in here to wipe down my sinks, the toilet and the tub. So yeah, that's the products I'm going to be using, but I can't do all of that while I'm talking to y'all. So let me get busy and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Y'all, there's not an inch of this bathroom that I have not scrubbed. Everything is neat and in its place. Oh, I want to share it with these. These are the uh, shower rod curtain, shower curtain hooks I use. And I love them. If you have trouble struggling with getting your shower curtain on and off to wash it or whatever, y'all, these are a game changer. I got them from Walmart. And these are the extra ones I had. I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc baggie, put them up in the cabinet above the toilet, and I'll have them for the fall when I want to use them, you know, when I do my other curtains. But, I mean, everything has been organized. I mean, who am I? Who am I? Down here is organized. Um, down here is organized. I mean, everything is organized. I went through this the other day. It's all stuff we used on the daily. And then there's really nothing up in there except for toilet paper, uh, shaving cream, just the essentials. So, have plenty of room if we need it. But this is what it's looking like. And it feels amazing. It smells so good in here. So, now, onto the shower curtain. We're going to put this up. How beautiful is this going to look with the wall? Come and check things out. So, also I wanted to let y'all know, this is a washable curtain liner. And I got it from Target. I got sick and tired of those plastic ones. And I just, no I didn't, I got it from Amazon. So I just bought one for each bathroom. I can take it off, throw it in the um, washer with some bleach and hot water, and it's good as new. So, if you get tired of just wasting money on those plastic shower curtain liners, highly recommend these. All right, so let me get my shower curtain hung up. As you can see, it's too long to go in front of the shower. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna return the other runner and I will just get like a regular bath mat to go there. Um, yeah, that's all I can do. 
So, but I love the shower curtain. I love it so much. Um, I've got to go get my little stand that I spray painted. Got to put these hooks up, swap out the rugs. <sighs> yeah, to be continued. This is how it is until I can swap out the other rug. I'm not going to like put off getting this video edited and everything because of a rug, but I'm going to swap it out, get one just like that, but a smaller one to go in front of the shower. Um, this probably will not stay if I'm just being totally transparent. I just put it up here for, you know, the purpose of the video because I do use that. I really don't mind it being gold. I think it's kind of cute. I have gold accents over here, so I really don't mind that that is gold. So that will probably, the plant won't stay, but the little table, I'll probably leave it. Because I honestly, up against all this, it takes on kind of a, a green hue to it. So now as far as our vanity, I just, you know, kept it real simple. I just have this cute little plant that this actually came from Hobby Lobby. I took it out of its original planner and put it in this one that I thrifted. Had this little, this is supposed to be like a candle holder, but I flipped it up and use, use it as a riser. Y'all know it's gonna get my chicken from the Target dollar spot. Wedding picture, you know, we just had the everyday necessities, James's pill box, my perfume, and it's just all beautifully confined and I love it. My mother-in-law got me the cute little wax warmer um, for uh, Christmas, I think it was, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it off, let this cool down, and I'm going to put it in this top outlet right here, but I wanted something to kind of disguise that area, and I think that works, and that gold and stuff ties in with all of this. I would love to get a different towel holder. But this one is into the wall so good, and I I don't want to swap it out because it just is it, so good. 
I could swap out the toilet paper holder and this, but you know, it wouldn't look right to do that. But I have my, this is some vintage art that I've printed off of Etsy last year, I think it was. Vintage frames, have that one there. And then I have, oh, let's see, there's a glare. There we go. I had it matted at Michael's because it was an odd shape. And then there's this one. I just have this basket up there. This is actually the bottom part of an ottoman <laughs> that I bought years ago from Fred's. But I just took the top off and just have some greenery there. I can't figure out what to put up there, so it'll do. All right, y'all. That is going to do it for me today. I am so happy with how the bathroom looks. I was planning on going to Target tonight when James gets home to swap out that rug, but I'll probably just do it tomorrow um, when me and my mom are out. And um, that way I'll, it'll just save me a trip and I know what I want, so I'll just be in and out, so it won't be no big deal. And I didn't want to put off the video, putting the video up just because of a rug. I can always show y'all in another video what it looks like with the, the rug in front of the, the shower. But that is going to do it for me today. I feel good. I have not overdone it. I have been very smart with my cleaning and I sat and did most of it, you know, just sitting down and um, so I'm not hurting. So it's a win-win for me today. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shows you that you can have a beautiful home with thrifted items. You do not have to break the bank to have a beautiful home. It is amazing what you can find at your thrift stores. I'm telling you, I look at my home and it's like, it's thrifted. I have a thrifted home and it's beautiful to me. I mean, it may not be to everybody, but to us, it's beautiful and I love it. So that's all that matters, right? All right, y'all. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.